Hi, I'm Mike the How-To Guy, and welcome to How to Build a Birdhouse. Today, we're going to learn how to build this bluebird nesting box. Man-made nesting boxes have played a vital role in reviving the once dwindling population of bluebirds. A couple of interesting features worth pointing out on this box are, it's assembled rough side out, so it more closely resembles the bird's natural nesting sites. And there's no perch, notches, beneath the entrance hole provide footing for bluebirds, but discourage visits from competing house sparrows and wren. The swing door is convenient for cleaning out the bluebirds' nests when they are done. Bluebirds often raise more, as many as three broods in one season. Well, let's now head into the shop and see what materials we'll need to get started. Hi, welcome to the shop. Now let's go over what tools and materials we're gonna need to make this bluebird nesting box. Okay, now that we've gathered all of our materials, our next step is to lay out our board. Now I'm gonna lay this one out in its entirety so you get an idea of exactly the full layout. But keep in mind when you're laying out your board that we're gonna keep the rough side facing up. Our first cut will be for the front of the birdhouse. So the length of that is gonna be nine and a half inches. Mark nine and a half. Then mark that with your square. This will also be a good time to measure it down an inch and a half and then center this and that'll be where our entrance hole goes. Next I'm going to lay out for each of the sides. So to give my angle a 12 degree pitch I'm going to make one side at 10 and a quarter and the other side and nine and a quarter. Connect those marks with my square. Now I'm going to square off of that because I need to do the opposite of this in order to have the two sides be rough side out. Next I measure an inch down and repeat that scribe from this point. Next from here, I'm going to measure down ten and a quarter. Mark that. Inscribe it. Okay, that'll be it for our two sides. Our next measurement is going to be thirteen and five eighths, and that's going to be the back of the birdhouse. Now this will be the only piece that we're going to use with the rough side facing in. And don't forget, we're going to put that 12 degree angled cut along the top. So we're going to measure out 13 and 5 eighths. Mark that. Next we're going to do 3 and 5 eighths, which will be the measurement of our bottom. Mark 3 and 5 eighths. And our last measurement is going to be 10 and a half, and that's going to be the roof. If you missed any of those measurements, please visit bowenbirdhouses.com where you can find out just how to build this blue bird house. Okay, now that we have our board marked all out, let's get our chop saw out and start cutting. Now I'm going to set this at 45 degrees and take the base in and cut an angle at each of the corners. That way there's, been, um, there's drainage in the bottom of the bird nest in case any moisture gets in. Okay, we're all cut. Our next step is to take our inch and a half paddle bit and our screw gun 
and cut a hole in the front entrance of our birdhouse. So we've already marked it previously. Make sure you have something that you're going to cut through to underneath. Line up your bit and Okay, next, below our um, entrance hole, we're going to measure down half of an inch, and then we're going to mark that spot, and then every quarter inch from there, we're going to mark two more spots. That way, we know where to put our perch marks. Now, be sure you repeat the process from the front and to the back so the new hatchlings have a way to get out. Okay, next thing we're going to do is pre-drill for the sides where they're going to have the swing door. So we're going to pre-drill the front and the back at the same spot. That way the swing door operates correctly. To do that, we're going to take our back side with the angle cut at the top, one of our sides, and the front line up the angles so that they're even come in with the square and about an inch down on the right hand side mark it and mark the other side okay after we have our holes pre-drilled we're ready to start putting our birdhouse together so what you need for this step is the back piece with its pre-drilled hole it's the right side piece and the front piece so we're going to lay these out, keeping the side piece approximately a quarter of an inch down from the top of the back, and then do the front, same with the front. That way when we put the roof on, it'll leave a quarter inch gap at the top so there's some ventilation for the birds. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take our wood glue. Once we have the front nailed to the side and to the back, our next step is to come in with our floor and place it approximately a half inch recessed. The recessed floor will help keep the box dry. Now we're going to drive two nails in the front, the side, and into the back to keep the flooring in place. Once we have that all nailed together, our next step is to bring in our side swing door. I'm going to put that into place. Remember to keep that quarter inch gap at the top. Then what we're going to do is come in and pre-drill at the front hole and at this back hole. And then we'll place our two inch coarse drywall screws. Now remember when you're tightening these, don't tighten them too tight because you still want the door to be able to swing. Next thing we're going to do is take our drill bit and drill, pre-drill a hole at a downward angle. That way we can put a nail in there and lock the door to keep squirrels from opening it. Okay, our last step is to put a roof on. So what we're going to do is Place it half on the front, half off the back. We're going to do pre-drill two holes, two in the front and two in the back. That way it leaves our side ventilation open. Well, that's about it. Once you've put your house together, it's time to put it out in the yard. Now keep in mind to keep the entrance around five feet off the ground and to place the box in a smooth piece of conduit. That'll keep predators from getting in at the hatchlings. Well, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Mike the How-To Guy, and for further information, visit bowenbirdhouses.com. Thanks.